your career is on the line here. I know. If that's not an authentic El Pogo Fuego, we lose the corner piece of our whole exhibit. It's an El Pogo. I'm sure of it. Well, we'll see what Maximus has to say. Uh, Maximus! Hello, darlings. Mm-hmm. Nope. What? Yeah, a forgery, no doubt. I've never seen anything like that before. You know, El Pogo is the biggest artist since, well, I don't know, Picasso. <laughs> You'd be fools to show this crap to anyone but us. We're gonna be the laughing stock of all of Los Angeles. No, I don't know what to say, except that he's wrong. This is an El Pogo, I'm sure of it. All right, well, then you go find that pyromaniac freak and you get him to light that bird on fire all over again. If you can't authenticate that piece, look forward to a career curating for motels in bumfuck nowhere. If it's a pogo, prove it. I will. All right, you're going to New Orleans. Excuse me, sorry to interrupt you, everything. Um, do you, by chance, know who El Pogo Fuego is? Who dat? That is um, a really famous artist. Fuck off. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I just don't understand this town. They don't like me. They're mean to me. Um, excuse me. Hi. Do you know who El Pogo Fuego is? No. Um, he's like an artist. I, I can't really figure out how to find him. Why don't you just go see a tour guide? That's what all the other tours do. Hello, is this the welcome to Scary New Orleans Tours? I'm Iris Carter. Um, I'm actually just wondering, I heard you guys do tours of El Pogo Fuego. Oh, yes. He was a voodoo sorcerer who burned down the city several times. Oh, well, the guy I'm talking about, his medium is fire, but he's an artist. Oh, yes. There is a terrible artist. He uses the moniker Pogo Fuego, but he doesn't really live up to it. All he does is catches things on fire and gets drunk and... <laughs> yeah. Is that what they call art these days? <laughs> That's the guy I'm looking for. Do you, do you know where I can find him? Just follow the smell of urine, baby. Oh, thanks so much. Oh, and don't forget to come back for the tour. I hope I'm not disturbing you. Uh, are you... Who are you? Are you El Pogo Fuego? Who are you? My name is Susan Smith. I'm an art curator. What do you want? I came to see if this is your artwork. Uh, artwork? Oh, my goose! It's my goose! <gasps> it is yours. Well, I suppose it's yours now, huh? Yes, well, actually, it belongs to a really cool gallery in Los Angeles. It's chic and modern and, you know, you ought to be really proud it's there. Okay, I tell you what, you come back tomorrow, and we do verification. Um, well, can... Do the selfie with... Well, what time Go! should I come back? Okay, all right, I'll see you tomorrow. He came back! Hey, so the other El Pogo Fuego you were telling me about, I'm kind of curious. They say his feet don't even touch the ground, and that... He floats by means of the devil, and there's a goose. What? A goose? The most fierce and ferocious goose you've ever seen. A goose? That's so weird. What are you... Huh? Oh, um, well, I came to town with a goose, but I... I'm sorry, <laughs> never mind. I... Legend has it that the only person with the power to stop El Pogo will be that idiot who brings the goose back. <laughs> or so it's been said. Well, how does that idiot stop El Pogo Fuego? Lord, if I know. Oh, fuck. Fuck, where's the fucking bird? Oh, 
Fuego! I have to stop him! New Orleans, I won't let you burn! Child, it's too late to stop me now. I'm the only idiot that can stop you. <laughs> my weak spot. For 200 years I was confined to this pogo stick. My feet have not touched the ground. You saved my soul and you saved New Orleans. <sighs> you are the most misunderstood artist of our time. Oh, come here, man. 